Welcome back, fellow scholars and researchers. In today's video, we are delving into the world of statistical analysis for PhD students. If you're pursuing your doctorate or engaged in advanced research, statistical analysis is an indispensable skill to master. We'll explore various powerful methods that can elevate your research and help you draw meaningful conclusions from your data. So, let's get started. 1. Exploratory Data Analysis, EDA, a univariate and bivariate analysis. B. Data Cleaning and Preprocessing. C. Data Visualization for Insights. Before diving into complex statistical methods, we must first explore and understand our data thoroughly. Exploratory Data Analysis, EDA, helps us identify patterns, relationships, and potential outliers. Univariate and bivariate analyses allow us to examine single variables and their interactions. We'll also cover data cleaning and preprocessing, ensuring our data is ready for analysis. Engaging data visualization techniques can provide valuable insights into the underlying structure of our data. Two parametric tests are t-tests, one sample, independent, paired, b analysis of variance, ANOVA, and post hoc tests, c linear regression and multiple regression. Parametric tests assume that data follows a specific distribution. We'll explore various parametric tests like t-tests, which help compare means between groups, such as independent samples or paired data. Additionally, analysis of variance, ANOVA, can be used when dealing with multiple groups, along with post hoc tests to identify significant differences. Linear and multiple regression allow us to explore relationships between variables and make predictions. Three non parametric tests are Man Whitney U test, B. Kruskal Wallis test, C. Spearman's rank correlation. When the assumptions of parametric tests are not met, non-parametric tests come to the rescue. We'll discuss the Mann-Whitney U-Test, suitable for comparing two independent groups, and the kruskal wallis test, used for comparing multiple independent groups. Spearman's rank correlation enables us to assess relationships between variables without assuming linearity. 4 time series analysis are Identifying trends and seasonality. B. Autoregressive integrated moving average, AIMA. C. Seasonal decomposition of time series, STL. Time series data is prevalent in many fields, such as economics and finance. We'll cover methods to identify trends and seasonality in our data. Autoregressive integrated moving average, AIMA models help forecast future values, and seasonal decomposition of time series, STL, aids in isolating seasonal components. 5. Structural Equation Modeling, SEM, A Confirmatory Factor Analysis, CFA. B. Path Analysis. C. Model Fit Indices. Structural equation modeling is a powerful technique to analyze complex relationships between variables. Confirmatory factor analysis, CFA, is useful for validating measurement models, while path analysis helps examine causal relationships. We'll also dive into model fit indices to evaluate the goodness of fit of our SEM models. 6. Multivariate analysis are Principal Component Analysis, PCA B. Factor Analysis C. Cluster Analysis In research, we often deal with multiple variables simultaneously. Multivariate analysis offers tools like Principal Component Analysis, PCA, which reduces dimensionality and identifies underlying patterns. Factor analysis helps uncover latent factors influencing our variables, and cluster analysis helps group similar observations. Congratulations, 
you've now been introduced to a myriad of statistical analysis methods tailored for PhD research. Statistical analysis is a key pillar of any advanced study, and the right methods can unlock a wealth of knowledge from your data. So, apply these techniques diligently, and remember that practice makes perfect. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable content. Best of luck with your research, and see you in the next video.